Hi YouTube, this is Alyssa here. I wanted to give you guys a kind of full glam, folly kind of look. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a really easy soft glam look featuring the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I just really love this palette and all of the shades are like really, really easy to use. So I'm just going to be going in with this eyeshadow palette and I'm not going to do anything like super um crazy so if you want to see how this turns out then just please keep on watching okay so first i'm gonna go in with this shade right here and i'm gonna pop the shade into my crease and i've already um done my brows and typically i will always do my brows first So the next shade that I'm going to go in with is going to be the shade right underneath it and it's going to be this shade and I'm just going to focus this on my outer um, corners. And I'm going to go in with the Morphe B80 brush. And then now using that same brush, I'm gonna go in with this deeper shade and focus this on to still my outer corners, but I'm just gonna deepen it a little bit more. Okay, so now I am using Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey, and I'm going to cut my crease. And I'm using this Wet n Wild brush. It's kind of like, it just looks like this. And it's super dirty, so don't mind that. But I'm just going to cut my crease. Now I'm going to pop on this shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to pack that on to the places where I cut my crease. Okay, so now that we're done with the eyes, now what I'm going to do is start with the face. So one of my most favorite um, primers is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. And the reason why it's my favorite is it kind of like smooths everything, but to me, it doesn't feel like the professional where it kind of like feels like it's clogging my pores. This one is like very, very like smooth and it kind of blurs still, but without that silicone feel, if that makes sense. So this one more so is it just glides right on. So I'm going to rub that all into my skin. And also what I like about it is it has salicylic acid in it, which is known to prevent acne. So I love that about this. And then whenever I do use this primer, it always ensures that my makeup literally stays on all day. So now I'm going to mix the Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation this is in the shade natural beige and then also this is like my all-time favorite foundation ever so I barely use it but I want a flawless foundation today so it is the NARS sheer glow and it is in the shade Syracuse so I'm gonna mix those two shades together on my Morphe um, sponge and the Too Faced Born This Way is a little bit too light for me 
And then the NARS is a little bit too dark for me, so I'm just mixing the shades so I can get my perfect match. One thing I hate about doing my foundation is it like makes it's my forehead is always darker so my forehead looks super light and like the rest of my face it matches so now I'm gonna be mixing my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer this concealer is literally amazing and I'm gonna also put a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape. These two literally go hand in hand with each other. They're actually very compar comparable. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way. The Tarte Shape Tape for me is a little bit too light, so that's why I'm going in with this Too Faced one. So now I'm going to let that sit for like a minute and then I'm going to blend it out. And now I'm gonna hurry up and set. And I just got this Hourglass um, Translucent Setting Powder. And I really am interested to see if I'm gonna love it. Okay, so now that I have the powder, and now I'm not really baking it, but I am like leaving it on for a little bit. But my girl Alyssa Ashley, she put us on. She literally did. So I'm gonna be using the Sephora collection, Sephora collection micro smooth baking powder, and I'm literally going to dust away all of that bake that I put on my face. And I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques. It's like this really big brush, and I'm gonna be using the shade tan and I'm going to just put that all over my face and kind of basically dust away that hourglass powder and this is going to give me more color back into my face but also it's gonna like smooth my entire skin at the same time So now that I'm done with the micro smooth, now I'm gonna go in with my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Powder. So basically what this powder does, and it is like a loose powder, it literally, not only does it help blur, but it literally just makes my skin look super, super airbrushed. So I'm gonna put that on, and I don't like to go in with a lot because I'm literally just sweeping this all over my face. So it's not like I'm packing it on like I did the Sephora collection one. This one, I'm just gonna dust it all over my face and I am gonna tap off the excess. I use a lot of bronzers for my skin because I feel like I have, I just like that dimensional kind of so many bronzer looks. So the first one that I'm going in with, and this I got from Aaliyah's face. Um, this is the Studio Fix Powder NC47, and I'm going to be using that with the another Real Techniques brush. This doesn't have a number or anything. And I'm basically going to put that on my forehead. This 
stuff is so good. I will go in with is the butter bronzer. And of course, this is by Physicians Formula. And this one to me, like I just use it just very lightly. Just to kind of give my skin a little bit more dimension. And I just feel like if you use like one bronzer, it's not enough. Like why not go in with a bunch of different shades? Because now I look more like natural looking instead of like just using that one bronzer. It looks very like, oh, very flat still, even though you're using bronzer. And then the last one I'm gonna go in with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Mahogany. This one is a little bit too dark for me. So I'm going to like barely even tap in to this one. And this one is just kind of gonna sculpt. And I like to focus this in my like hairline more so. And I will kind of basically contour my nose. So now that I'm done bronzing, I'm gonna go back to the eyes. So I'm basically going to bring that darker shade, that brown shade, and I'm going to bring it underneath my eyes. And I, I don't like to bring it all the way underneath my eyes because it, it just doesn't complement my eyes. I'm just gonna bring it halfway and just blend it. And I'm gonna spray my face because I feel like it's a little bit powdery. I'm gonna spray it with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay, so two of my favorite freaking mascaras are the NARS Climax Mascara, which is absolutely amazing, and the Monsieur Big, which is literally phenomenal. So between these two, you cannot go wrong. I definitely recommend the Climax Mascara. Um, my sister, I told her to use it one day, and like literally she could not stop using it. So today I'm gonna be going in with the NARS Climax Mascara. And I'm not gonna put on lashes today because I just don't feel like I need to. The highlighter I'm gonna be using today is the Makeup Forever. I don't know what shade this one is, but it's like a very like rose goldy, champagne-y kind of um, color. I also like to mix my highlighters. So on top of that, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty. Um, and this is the Me Money Hustle Baby, and I'm going to put that right on top. Now that your girl is glowing, sometimes I like to put on blush, and sometimes I don't, but I learned this trick. Um, this is a really bold shade, you guys. Um, this is the Fenty Mimosa Sunrise in Sangria Sunset. So it's the really bold shade from Fenty. If y'all have not gotten this, literally you can use it on your eyes, your lips, your cheeks, freaking blush. You can use this even as contour, but let me show you. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of that orange shade and then just a tap of that pink shade. And I'm going to use this as a blush. And when I feel like I went like too much, I'm just gonna use that contouring brush that I used before, and I'm just going to blend those shades together because I'm really not used to like using blush. I'm still getting used to it. So that was that. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing my lips. So I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. This is in the shade 612. And I'm gonna use that to line my lips. And 
this gives a lot of pigment as you can see so I only like to use a little bit and I'll keep like smacking my lips together to like blend the shade <laughs> and now what I'm gonna use is my Fenty um, liquid lipstick in the shade Unbutton And here is the final look if you guys enjoyed this video then please hit the like button and also hit that subscribe button um, I will be doing a lot more looks like this if you want like something that's more natural if you want something more full glam like this or something like in between just comment down below I'll be more than happy to give you guys that kind of look so thank you so much thanks for watching bye